Some people grow up wanting to be teachers or doctors. But what about organists? In this special report, Mastering the Music, 9 and 10's Madison Gardner and Chief Photojournalist Derek Lahr show us how this old instrument is giving students at Interlock and Arts Academy a bright future. It feels in a way uh, like I'm kind of controlling the universe. It's, uh, it's really an amazing feeling when you hear that power. So much power, presence, and performance, Emily Amos is able to harness it all. She's been playing the organ since the age of eight. And I thought, hey, this is cool. I can play with my feet. That was my big thing. This curiosity grew into a passion, something she had to convince others of. A lot of organists believed I couldn't play because of my age. And they were like, well, we don't want a nine-year-old coming in and wrecking this thing for everybody. The organ is particularly complex, basically taking an entire orchestra and putting it into one instrument. It's a keyboard instrument like a piano, except it doesn't have strings. It has pipes and uses wind um, instead of hammers to make noise. The knobs up there are called stops, and each stop is a different sound. Each section corresponds to either a keyboard called a manual or the pedals. So the top one's the swell, the middle one's the great, and the bottom one is the choir. In order to be successful, you have to be disciplined. You have to be able to perform well under pressure. You have to be able to collaborate. Um, you have to be able to take constructive criticism. And those are really important life skills. Dating back to ancient Greek and Roman times, the instrument is truly larger than life. When you're listening to the organ play, you might not always be looking up, but if you do, you will see this beautiful facade of pipes, but behind them there are thousands more at work playing that piece below. There's so much to think about. There are the notes. There's how you want to phrase the notes, there's the musicality, and then there's also the technical aspect. It's like, oh boy, will I hit this toe stud? Will I hit this piston? The pressure is real because every performance for these students is a solo, but there are some benefits. I don't have to rely on other people to like show up to rehearsals or to bring the right instrument. And like any performer, the end goal is educating, enlightening, and entertaining the crowd. These students are hitting all the right notes. All the work that I've done is finally paying off. Like I'm able to share music that a lot of people haven't really heard before. The organ is it's very much alive and it's looking for people. In Interlochen, Madison Gardner, 9 and 10 News.